Hey everybody, Dr. Diane Lyman Mold Expert here. We're gonna talk about Marcons, what it is, and a common question I get, which is, is it transmittable to my family? So Marcons is an acronym. It stands for Multiple Antibiotic Resistant Coagulase Negative Staph. The way I explain it to people is this is a very, very, very resistant form of staph to treatment to antibiotics. So most people have heard of staph. Staph is a common bacteria. We're all exposed to staph. In fact, we all probably have a level of staph in and on our body at all times. A lot of staph our body coexists with. We keep it in check. It doesn't cause problems. Other types of staph are very problematic. Marcons is a very problematic staph. It actually colonizes throughout our sinuses. And when we breathe in mold toxins, one thing that perhaps can be happening, and I say perhaps because I got this information from a ENT who was doing surgery on the sinuses, and he would say that it looked like that, that Marcon's was sometimes behind mold biofilms that would, would almost like crystallize. So we have this interplay potentially between mold, col mold colonies and Marcon's, but essentially Marcon's can cause immunological problems. It can cause sometimes sinus problems. Sometimes I don't see sinus problems when Marcon's is present though. The only way you know if it's there is if you test for it. The test is a swab, kind of feels like a COVID type of swab, right? So most people are used to that. And so from the standpoint of you swab your nose, you have to be particularly looking for this microorganism. And this microorganism, I see oftentimes it's related to dysfunctions in the endocrine system, in the hormone system, in the thyroid and sleep and the adrenals, because it's another thing for your body and your immune system to have to deal with, right? So I do find that treating Marcons can sometimes make a very, very, very big treat difference in symptom pictures for people. Other people don't notice as much, but a lot of people, when we really get rid of the Marcons, they do feel substantially better. There's a treatment shift. So it's a common question is, is this transmittable to my family and should I get my family tested? It's the, the, the tricky thing is it depends because definitely from a standpoint of this does seem to travel more in immunocompromised people. I work with a lot of families. I've tested plenty of families where one person has Marcon's and the rest of the family does not. So just because you have it does not mean that your family does. However, it is transmittable sometimes. And so the only way we know for sure is if we test. Now, if your family's not having any symptoms, there might not be as much of an impetus to test for this. But if your family's having any symptoms at all, it's definitely worth testing for this to see if this is present. I even had a patient test for this in his dog to see if his dog trans got this. And yes, indeed, his dog did have it. So we can certainly transmit it. It's definitely, you know, from dogs, Dogs are gonna be a little bit different, right? Because dogs are up in the face, they're licking, they're sniffing all around. So oftentimes dogs are like really intimate with us because they're just these cuddly, licky, you know, creatures. And so they can then, you know, they're close to our face, can easily pick up Marcons that way, especially if they're compromised. So this is a long-winded way of saying you don't have to do it every time, but especially if somebody is having health problems in your family and you have Marcons, it is worth getting them tested. So direct-to-consumer tests are always found in the show notes for you guys. So you can go there, check out my lab testing site where I have things direct-to-consumer for you. And I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, remember you can always sign up also for my, my self-guided DIY Lyme Mold Chronic Disease Recovery Program. Information is in the show notes about that as well. I hope you will subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.